against Raymer. Uh, mm -hmm. Just to give you some background on the players, I think Esam's kind of a household name in the world of you know platform fighters. Um, mm -hmm. Guy is uh, sponsored by Panda Global, of course. More He's of been team, around for several years. He's played multiple titles throughout uh, very various series. And yeah. uh, here in Icons, he's bringing in his Zurong expertise. And so far, he hasn't lost. He's in the winner's side. So uh, he's he's the, maybe the guy to beat right now. Yeah, definitely. And on the other side is Tandori, who's no, you know, he's no stranger to platform fighters. Guy is an ace, uh, rivals of Aether player, has now he placed fourth skills. yesterday. Yep. And uh, he's been really on the come up for Icons. Everybody's known that he's a very strong Raymer, but he hadn't really had the uh, the results to back it up. But as of very recently, he actually just managed to place very high at a tournament. So I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to see how he's going to do today against Esam in this match. All right, sorry, guys. Got to... Got a little technical hiccup. difficulty there. Yeah, we're gonna get it up. Ah, there right, we there go. We so, starting off with Zurong against Raymer on this is uh, Wave Dash Arena. Yeah, it looks like we struck the Wave Dash Arena. This is uh, generally considered to be a pretty even stage in this matchup, and um, there's no platforms for Zurong to try to camp out the ricochet shots from Raymer. Sure. And um, the platform layout is pretty like even here. Looks like uh, East Ham's off to a really good start with some cross-ups. The neutral layer is really hard to deal with if you're crossing them up. Uh, yeah. You know, obviously everybody's got their shield grab, got their jabs out of shield. Um, but East Ham's keeping things safe, applying some pressure without leaving himself open to attack. And he's already got a stock. Yeah, beautiful back air on that recovery there. Raymer's recovery is not particularly uh, easy to edge guard, but if you're smart, you can really mix them up and get some damage off. Right now, East Ham really controlling the pace of the match as he takes that first stock from Tandori. Yeah, it's all on Tandori to try to make a mount a comeback here. Um, oh, Rammer's nice got try. some great edge guards on Zurong if you can get him going. But right now, like Tandori hasn't been able to get ASAM off the stage. Yeah, it was a really unfortunate air dodge there. He thought he could get to the ledge, but apparently not as ASAM at 126. Tandori's going to need something to get this kill. ASAM getting the reset. Oh, this could oh be no, it. yeah. Not, not quite getting the double dip there. For the Hail Mary shot, this not gonna hit, it. but the yeah. second one will do it, yeah. Ooh, that was very smart from Easton trying to get the counter. If uh, Raymer like shoots a bit too much, the counter can actually help with the recovery. Because uh, Zurong's counter, unlike a lot of other counters, it actually makes her move forward at high speed. Yes. So right now, Esam has that extra stock, but Tandori playing very smart. Nice grab there, kind of mixing up his approach. Up B's early to avoid the shot, but Lin's on stage. I don't think that's what he was going for. Right now, Tandori with all the momentum in the world. If he can get the shot, he'll be way on, well on his way, but Isam able to air dodge out. The air dodge, very good there. Um, very easy to dodge and then grab the ledge afterward in this game. Yeah. And there's that potent forward tilt, one of the strongest moves in Raymer's arsenal, getting the kill on Isam. And you can see him using it there again, just kind of zoning, keeping him out. Putting lots of pressure on with these jabs, and Tandori with all the momentum here, but. He took a lot of damage earlier in the game. He did, and there's that uppy. He's able to get out, but unfortunately, it was kind of like an option Player select kind of deal where Esam was like, all right, I'm just going to DI down. I'm going to hold down on this. Even if I get hit, I'm going to be able to use my side special on that. So good stuff to Esam, who takes the first game but was looking a little shaky at the end of it. Yeah, at the end of the I mean, we saw the, the self-destruct from Tandori. Um, perhaps the game would have turned out a little bit differently without that. But, of course... You can never say what could have happened, and all we can look forward to is what Tandori brings to the table in the second game. Of course, so it looks like Wave Dash Arena, we're going right back. It's like Tandori found no problem with the stage, and just wants to clean up his gameplay here. One, totally makes no. sense. This is definitely a preferred stage for a lot of people, a lot of Icons players, so no real surprise on this. Isam with a patented Zurong string, getting 51%. Zurong, just one of the strongest characters in terms of combo potential. If she hits you once, she'll hit you six times. She is extremely explosive in terms of combos. Uh, seems like she's got an answer to almost any GI you can try to do, and um, that's where a lot of her strength is, on top of her speed. Good recovery by Isim. Has to make it back to the ledge. Indori able to mix it up, gets that dash attack into the nair. Good grab on that. He's got Isim off the stage, hits the shot, it, yeah. puts him in a very bad position. Yeah. Yeah, going for that counter again, but uh, Tandori is wise to it. And really, if you throw out the counter, but you don't get the hit, it drops you pretty low. It makes it super hard to get back. So you it certainly doesn't careful. help with the recovery at that point. But yep. uh, if Esam's already going to die anyway, might as well go for it, right? Sure. Give Tandori an uh, opportunity to make a mistake. There's the 
range up air. Yeah, he doesn't have anything to finish it off. He goes for the up B because he remains in advantage anyway, so it's just free percent, but doesn't get the kill off of it. And I feel like that was a misinput. I don't think he meant to do the ricochet shot off stage. Yeah, um, if if Framer's recovering from high, the ricochet shot is actually really strong to try to like apply some pressure, get the opponent to not be in a good position to edgeguard you. But uh, from that low, most likely an input error. Yeah, he was kind of in the mid-range. And Ezeham able to snap to the ledge just barely and comes back on stage. And when that happens, you can tell that Tandori was a little shook by that. And he already took 54% from that brilliant string from Ezeham. Mm -hmm. well, here we go, some more damage. There's the dare. And guys, get the ground bounce there. Yeah, you get a ground bounce on the first spike on the ground. It's unteckable, so you can set up into anything else after. Yeah, we're going to see a lot of that in this top eight here. And Isim is definitely very good at using that. Yes. There's the forward air off on the side. Tandori's going to have to use his up special. He's able to make it back. A lot of mix-up potential on Raymer's recovery between the actual like angle that he uh, chooses for the up special, which way he drifts, and whether or not he fires the shots to give him a little bit of extra lift there. Yep. Um, Isim trying to maybe get an earlier one with that down air. And as you saw right there, Tandori dot. Ooh, and there it's it the is. Bounce. The, ricochet uh, the bounce. The bounce ricochet shot has more knockback, so anytime you see a Raymer get one of those, it's pretty devastating to an offstage opponent. We're down to a one stock game between these guys. And one of the things that we saw earlier was Tandori was trying to DI away from uh, Zurong so he wouldn't get hit by the down air after a forward air. Oh, oh no, the it. projectile wow. into the spike. One wins. Isam with the, all the confidence in the world knowing that was going to hit because there's no way for him to recover after a drop yep. zone down air. That was so unfortunate for Tandori, who now sees himself down 0-2 in this winner's semis match. Isam trying to uh, punch his ticket in the winner's finals. Yeah, see, you don't, you don't want to go into losers here. We got a lot of killers in the losers oh, yeah. bracket. Um, the bracket was very top heavy in terms of like skill depth. Yeah. And um, a ticket to winner's finals, you'll be sitting pretty there. So we're going to Combat Lab instead, and I really like this decision to switch stuff up. Don't want to go to uh, Wave Dash Arena again. This stage is very One, interesting go. for Raymer because he can really kind of snipe. Uh, okay, I thought I didn't know if there was an issue or if he was just being cheeky. So uh, Raymer, that's, uh, that's Isam being cheeky. That's sure. what he does. Yeah. So, uh, oh no, is he done? There's He's the down done. air. He's not done. Spike is not that devastating at lower percents, and especially because how high up he was when he got that combo. Not done, but he's hurt. But yeah, so what you'll see on the stage is Tandori, if he's getting Isam to recover low, he should be able to bounce his shot off the platforms, but it looks like that's not even going to come to pass as Isam takes that first stock almost unscathed. Yeah, this is looking really rough for Tandori. He's got to find a way to stop the bleeding here if he's going to have any chance of making a comeback. That's a really good way to put it, because right now Tandori is just gushing all over the stage. This yeah. is ugly. Yeah, Zurong's blade definitely causing some blood here. Yeah. Up tilt, reverse, gets the up air as well. And Tandori almost 100% on his second stock. The eyes out on that fair, wow. yeah. And this is this is East Ham's game here. Yeah, this is, I, you gotta, we talked a lot about veteran players and about East Ham having, you know, almost a decade in the game, if not a decade at this point. The guy is a veteran to platform fighters and one of the hallmarks of being an excellent player in these type of games is adaptability. And it seems like Isam has just taken this Raymer tech and has just exploited it. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and you know, a lot people in this game have a lot of different opinions on which characters are strong and are weak. Isam actually believes Raymer to be fairly weak. Really? Yeah, he does. Huh, he that's thinks, interesting. I think Isam has a unique ability to really exploit Raymer's weaknesses and okay. we're seeing it on display here. Yeah, right there, he's got him off stage. Kind of like a uh, block string there, and Battle that's going to be it. Yeah. Very dominant yeah, performance here from Isam. Yeah, the momentum really ramped up as the games went on. The first game looked pretty solidly in Tandori's favor, and then Isam kind of took it back, and then Isam kind of ramped up in the second game, and then by the third one, it was over. Just like a semi, just Yeah, I mean, the first two stocks there on that third game from Isam were extremely yeah. explosive. It's what we've come to learn is true about Zurong's gameplay, and Isam's really showcasing it here.